himself as a human guinea pig before retiring as a film instructor at De Anza College. Wrong way, Reitman developed the theory that for some damn reason, launching yourself on your head would make you airborne. Now, let's look at the right way. Ever since creation, the earthbound human had endlessly watched the soaring birds above him. He then created the airplane and aerial sports to make him airborne. Now is the time for the lightweight parapet with a special rotating sky wing system. This enables him to easily take it to any location and to fly across the countryside. Like birds, train is necessary for the master of this new sport. However, in order to start sky sailing, you'll need a wind sock. Then you'll need a wind meter to measure proper wind speed. A well-fitted harness can be safely attached to the parapet. The next step is unfolding the chute in order to lay it out properly. After that, it is very important to check control rod, risers, and the lines of the chute. Hook up your harness, then you're ready to inflate your chute. These are basic procedures for preparing yourself on a flight. For basic training, a nice metal or athletic field is a perfect location. First, the windsock must be put into place, which helps the student to determine the wind direction. A wind meter will tell you whether the wind speed is within safe limits. Now it's time for the sailors to put on their harness. Sometimes the more than willing instructor will assist the student in properly fitting the harness by securing it tightly. Next, you're ready to unfold your chute. To the right, to the left. Make sure all lines are clear. Then you hook on your harness. In case of a monsoon or a tornado, you'll need to use a Skywing quick release to safely collapse the sail. A beginning student needs to practice guiding the sail by using the control lines. When the students get the sail inflated, they're ready to take to the air. After a short time of intensive boot camp training, the students are ready to fly from greater heights to explore different locations, like the Green Mountains of Switzerland, 
or fly from the highest glacier, or to soar along the Pacific coast. Thus, with the Skywing Parapent, you are able to explore the world from a bird's eye view.